Good afternoon there. It's your good old buddy Joker. <laughs> oh, you hadn't heard from me in a while. As you know, I only come out with anarchy around. You know my old saying, I like dynamite and gasoline. <laughs> but there's a problem right now about the gasoline part. There's a little shortage going on in certain parts of the world or certain parts of America. There's a gasoline storage. Around about the uh, up around between the southeast to the northeast. People are lining up in droves like little ants. You know, going up and down an ant hill. You know. These people are going to gas stations and the gas prices are skywalking. They're skywalking. <laughs> And sometimes even some stores are, are running out of gas. They can't, you know, supply and demand. They can't meet supply and demand. You know, America, we, what are we going to do? What's happening right now? How are we going to survive without gas? You know, you know, I can explain to you, a time like this, scavengers and other um, malfeasant characters come out. You know, especially when there's no gas. You know, me sometimes I have to drive, but not too often. I like a nice little drive around Gotham every now and then. <laughs> and here are these, you know, decent people loading up on gas. Yeah, it's a good chance to capitalize on some people's desperate need for gas. Yeah. Stacking up on gas at the gas station. Taking up time and room, your time and space. We gotta go somewhere. And then, and just being overly greedy. It's not enough. That's a shortage. But these people are stacking up and taking up all the excess gas from you and me and everybody else. And then, some people are going as far as putting gas in plastic bags and containers. I know better than that. You know, I know better something like that. Look at this one right here. Putting gasoline in a paper bag in the back of a car. You know what happens? You know, if you put gasoline with fire? <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> you know, people are believing uh, Joe Biden about this incident. And they're comparing it to the gas crisis back in the, in the early 80s when Jimmy Carter was president. Well, that situation was different. That was a time when America was in a, uh, you know, kind of an issue with the Middle East. You know, instead of right now, we, America has stacked up in gas. We have reserves more than most countries. I'm not a fan of Joe. I'm not a big fan of his, you know, the old man Joe. I don't, you know, Sleepy Joe, whatever you want to call him. I don't trust him that much. I don't trust him. You know, but he's better than that last dope. A little bit. Not too much. <laughs> See, Colonial Popline Company, which, you know, is a company. Like any other company, they attacked, you know, and they've been under a siege by cyber, you know, criminals, you know. And they, like I said, again, they control a good part of the, uh, around, around the north, you know, around the, the north, the, the northeast up to the, the around the northeast to the, the north south, everywhere. You know, these states here, the south, and a little bit up to New York. And this, the question is, you know, cyber attacks. What are cyber attacks? Well, cyber terrorism has been going on for quite some time. You know, and some people, you know, they don't understand it. Let me explain it to you, slowly but surely, for those who drive rising LD classes with a learning disorder. See, cyber is meaning when people attacks by computer or internet. 
As you understand, nice days, you don't need to, you know, rob somebody, fall out. It's not like, like in the old days, we take a gun and you put somebody's face and you demand your money. No, not like that anymore. Not like that. Yeah. Now, it's some jerk behind a keyboard who terrorizes people. And companies like this, you know, cut a line or pop line, should know better. Be prepared. It's happening all over the world now. Many companies have been attacked by cyber terrorism. But they don't understand that. You know, they don't they should notice that. They should know that. You are not kidding. Be, don't be blind. You know, it's a new world for you. You have to catch up to it. You know, but the problem is America's too dependent on gasoline, on fossil fuels. You know, for many years we all depend on it. But, you know, why so serious? Why so serious, son? We should go like other countries are doing. They're going to electrical cars. Alternatives. Was not so, you know, fossil fuel dependent. You know, cars you just hook up to a, a machine and let them sit in charge on a battery. You know, it's being done quite often in other countries. Many European countries have done it for the past few years because they understand the fact that fossil fuels is something you can't always rely on. You know, while Americans sit on their fat guts and drive around their gas burning fuels and their SUVs. You know, yes, America, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> well, how about do this? Start a carpool. You know, get some friends together. You know, drive to work. Or drive where you would need to go. You know, you know find somebody you trust if you're comfortable with. You know, you know what? You gotta remember, you gotta pay. Gas, grass, or ass. <laughs> Nobody rides for free. Yes, you gotta put a little something in the tank or something in somebody else's tank. <laughs> what are you, weirdo? Why are you riding around on a mask when you're in the car by yourself? I keep seeing weirdos like this. You're not like a Batman. No, you're in the, like the Batmobile driving around Gotham. You're by yourself in a car. Your car. Not a bunch of people here. You're not gonna get the virus by yourself in the car wearing a mask. People stop wearing masks when you're by yourself in your car. Weirdos! Or can drive a little motor scooter around when you want to go. Or get on your bike. Yeah, it's good for your health. Help you out a little bit riding your bike. Get on your bike. Or walk with friends when you don't have to go too far. You just want to go to the corner store. Or go up the street a little bit. Don't just pop in your car and burn a few bits of gas just to get to your five blocks to your mother's house and five blocks to you back to yours. Nice little walk, happy. Nice little brisk walk. Maybe get off some of you lazy and fat Americans. Me, I like to ride a bus. You know, mass transit. You know, I've been riding buses for years. I enjoy buses. Very comfortable. Very, if right, buses are clean. You know, don't have to worry about you know, wasting too money on gas. Just make sure I have tokens. <laughs> so but right now, what I heard... That the, the uh, Colonial Pipeline, they will open up soon. And gas will start coming back and flowing. Flowing like a blood in Gotham. <laughs> so. So have a little anarchy. You just have a little anarchy in your, in your life, America. Get over it. It's not like this never happened before. It's not like not never have it again. But don't be dependent on something. Don't be dependent on drugs. Don't be dependent on people. Don't be dependent on gas. Sometimes these things can fail you. So I just brought a little anarchy into your world. This is man, the friendly neighborhood joker. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>